This YouTube channel is dedicated to solving Sudoku without candidates. Learn more about solving without candidates at sudokuprimer.com. There you can also find lots of Sudoku information, download free blank Sudoku grids, learn Sudoku myths and Sudoku history, and you can even create your own Wordoku puzzles there. This puzzle is a subscriber request. Francis from New Zealand wrote in and requested that I solve this puzzle. Thank you, Francis. This puzzle is rated medium, but it keeps us on our toes and gives us some challenges. We find quadruplets right away, which help us get started. We'll use a number of techniques and patterns to solve this and make it, make it easier. First of all, uh, we have a th one, three, four, seven here, and that's th these four cells, one, three, four, seven. So that leaves two and nine here, and with that two, we can fill in the two and the nine. And then um, one thing about this puzzle is that makes it harder is you can't really do, you can't do any cross hatching right at the beginning. Uh, this one I'm going to show you now is about as close as you can get to cross hatching, but yeah, but I had to use double row elimination to, to get it to work. Got eight here, got eight here. So eight goes there, eight, eight, eight. So you have an eight in one of these cells and an eight here. Using double row elimination, we eliminated these two rows, rows here and we have this row left. With that eight there, we can put an eight right in there. Okay, and then with that eight, we can do some cross hatching like that, like that. Let's see. And I think that's about it. <clears throat> and then I want to point out this, uh, since we put an 8 here, we have a T pattern right here in box 9. We have an 8 and a 7 and a 1 and a 5 coming in, in this column here. We have an 8 and a 7 in the box already, but we don't have a 1 or a 5. So one five. these are 1, 5 twins. That makes these 6, 9 twins and 2, 4 twins. We can't solve any of those three sets of twins right now, but we're going to use them. The one five here, we've got ghost fives here and a five here, so that makes that a five. And with that, we can put a five there and a five there because of that five right there. All right, and we can also put a five, five ghost fives, five right there. And now we can put, let's see, there's a six there. Only number left in that column, so that's easy. Now I got a three there. Three, 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 right there. Three, right there. All right, and now, let's see, we got a five here, five here. A five goes right there. And now we can solve the one five twins we found there. All right, now let's see, we've got a six here. Ghost six is here, so a six has to go here or here. So six ghost sixes, that lead makes that a six. All right, and then we got six, six, six. Uh, one of these have to be a six because there's no Number, there's a wall right here, wall pattern right there. With that six, we can put a six there and there. So 
and now that, that leaves a nine there. We have ghost nines there, nine ghost nines, so that makes that a nine. Of course, that row was complete now, so that was easy. And we can put a four there. All right, let's see. All right, now we've got a uh, we're missing two and four in this row, and there's a four there. So that makes that a two, because we have the two four twins. So we filled in all our twins now. But interestingly enough, we haven't done anything with, with three of our four quadruplets here. We did find that three, but that's it. And uh, you can see how sometimes twins, triplets, quadruplets, and others help you find other numbers even if you can't solve them. All right, now I got a one there. Finished that row. We got two and nine left here, so we can solve them. And seven and nine there. This one makes that a one. And we're missing four and seven there. Four, we got a one here, one there. So we can put a one there and a one there. That makes that a four right there. And we got nine, nine. Let's see, what are we missing there? Nine, six and nine right there. We can fill those in because of that six right there. We're missing two and eight there. Can't solve those yet. Let's see, Let's see what we're missing in this column. Six, seven. We can solve them. Okay. And uh, I got a four here, four here. So that's a four. That leaves us seven and nine there. And we'll finish this with a one. Now, what do we have? Two and eight there. Still can't solve those. Let's see what we have in this column. Two, four, two and four. So we can solve those. Therefore, we can solve these. And we've got eight and nine left there. And we got it. And there you have it. This one was kind of fun. Thank you, Francis, for the request. And thank you all for watching. Keep solving.